Hey, welcome back to Always Behind in Gardening. Um, <laughs> I don't know what week it is anymore because life and we've skipped a couple weeks due to, you know, we thought we were going to get all that work done on spring break and then we did nothing spring break. <laughs> but like weather. Life happens. Colds. Anyway, so we're back out and our average last frost date was this past Saturday. Today is Wednesday. So we are ready to direct sow a lot of things, um, but the garden still has stuff in it. I'm um, from last year, dead things, and all the weeds from this year. So we're just going to like pull out as we go. And today was the day we could get together and it is raining a little bit. So I'm not going to leave the camera rolling, <laughs> but we'll show you. Hey, it's free water for our plants. What we did, yes. <laughs> and at least we're not going to like get sweaty. We'll still have to take showers, but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we'll walk you through and show you what we planted when we are finished, but we're just going to get going. All right, so, so far we have cleaned out all this side and here we have attracted a chicken um, put okra here and put a bunch of bush beans over there, asparagus, there's some coming up, planted more there. This is all different kinds of beans. This is going to be cucumbers on this side. I switched them up from last year. So we just decided we're going to do um, squashes on this fence and grow them up here and then we'll figure out what to put on the other side but we do have some plants how exciting um that some of them we bought some of them were given to us so i have this lemon cucumber and it looks a little bit sad but i think it it'll make it um so a green squash we'll go here on this we have a yellow squash there's a spinach and a lettuce. This is borage. We have celery. So this is that really pretty um, Chinese pink celery. And then we have two of those and then, oh no, we do have two. So you got one of each kind of celery too? I did. So we have two of those and then we have two of this one that's supposed to be like a come and cut and then you, it like grows back. So we looked in our little companion guide and Celery and cucumbers are companions, so we're going to put those together. This is a yellow zucchini. Okay, so it'll go on this row. And that's borage. This is chamomile. These are, this is like a lettuce and a yellow zucchini. So, yeah. And then okay, I have I got, a um, ba lemon okay. basil. Lemon basil. Oh, you know what? You might want to, if you like have a porch or something, you might want that in a pot at your house yeah. because I'm telling you, this will be covered in lemon basil. <laughs> over there because yeah. it'll it'll like that way you can have one at yeah. home because it does smell really lemon good cucumber yeah i've never had lemon cucumber so we're gonna see it does it taste like lemon does it look like lemon yeah. no idea so all right we're gonna get all this stuff in the ground angela bought this plant from our friends at hollow oak farms right yes it is golden zucchini i don't even know what that means but i'm excited about it oh there's a little basil coming up right there but we're going to plant it here on the end um, so that we can remember that we planted it here on the end. Um, so the plan is to grow all of our squash up. So that's why we're planting it along this little trellis-like thing that I created at one time. I'm excited. I had never heard of golden zucchini before. Yeah. Is going to see if it tastes different? Or? I just like how is it different than a yellow squash? Yeah. <laughs> like, does it look like a zucchini but it's yellow? But like yellow squash and zucchini don't look that different. But yeah, they're really... I think like zucchini are straighter usually. A little. Oh, I found some wire. Yay. So then we have plants in the ground. It's our first plant. <laughs> I think. Well, I mean, other than the asparagus, yeah. it comes up by itself. And little volunteers. I mean, we have the onions and potatoes, but almost feel like those don't count. They count, but but it's, it's different. different when you're putting like yes. out of a pot. Yay! I'm gonna put this to see things like it'll fade, but I'm gonna put this That's in. Fine. And I took a picture of it, so I actually always put these when I get plants from them. They're always in these, and I always put it around here to keep like moisture and weeds out. Worms like to get under this kind of thing, so perfect. Let's like encourage it. Bring on the worms. All right. So we'll yellow squash in here, and then I'll get yellow squash to out. And I have some of the green paint too. 
So I need to Google how far apart to plant these. I gotta use my phone for that. <laughs> we got quite a bit done today. There's celery in the ground. There's squash in the ground and ske seeds in the ground. There is um, green beans, snap peas in the ground. Angela is covering up the potatoes. So the potatoes, I'm trying that method where you like kind of barely stick them in the ground and then cover them with straw. Oh, I have found a plant. And then as they start to poke up, you cover them again and again and again and again. <laughs> so we have a ton of potatoes that I got from a friend, thank you Lexi, that she had more than she needed. And so now they're here and hopefully going to feed both of our families. Yay! Yay! So it's so exciting to see life coming back to the garden, having green things here. Very exciting. So we're about to wrap up for the day. So thanks for joining us on Dirty Hands, <laughs> Clean Mouths. We will talk to you later. Thanks. <laughs>